Good afternoon, and welcome to the United States Naval War College graduation ceremony for the Naval War College Naval Command and Staff Online Program Summer Quarter Class of 2023. I am Dr. Steve Pierce, Interim Dean of the Naval War College's College of Distance Education, the college under which the Naval Command and Staff Online Program is organized and administered. I am serving as the MC for today's proceedings. We decided to conduct quarterly virtual graduation exercises because we wanted to recognize our Naval Command and Staff online program graduates in a more timely and specific manner, rather than at the end of the academic year in June. Therefore, today we will recognize the graduates with this virtual ceremony. Everyone is encouraged to use the chat feature and clapping hand icon to congratulate the graduates throughout the ceremony. As a final introductory administrative item, I ask the graduates to let their professors know what they think about the ceremony as we welcome your suggestions on any way we might improve it for future classes. Thank you. And now, please virtually rise and attend the playing of our national anthem. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming It is now my honor to introduce Rear Admiral Peter A. Garvin, the 58th President of the United States Naval War College. Thank you, Stephen. Uh, distinguished guests, shipmates, family and friends, but most of all, soon to be graduates. Welcome and thank you for joining us today for this graduation ceremony. To Captain George Lang and the Naval War College Foundation, thank you for your generous support. Our students, faculty, and staff have benefited tremendously from your contributions. Dr. Pierce, Professor Sexton, thank you for inviting me to this ceremony and for creating and executing this program with the unwavering support of our mission support team. To our provost, deans, faculty, and staff, thank you for setting high standards of educational excellence in learning, research, and operational experience. You have met the needs of our students and their agencies and today you see the fruits of your labor before you. Your tireless efforts in educating and developing these leaders will pay dividends with their contributions to our nation and our national security well into the future. Thank you for your dedication and your service. For the families and friends of today's graduates and for those unable to attend, thank you for supporting your graduate. I have no doubt you have made many sacrifices to enable your students successful completion of this program. Please know this, you are both the reason we serve and the reason we are able to serve. So thank you for being part of the Navy family and now a part of the US Naval War College family. And to the Naval Command and Staff online program graduates, I want to recognize the extra effort and sacrifice you put into earning your joint professional military education. You dedicated countless evenings and weekends to classes, research, reading, and writing. The investment that you have made in your education and professional development to succeed in our noble mission is admirable. You sacrifice, sacrificed a great deal in your personal lives to take advantage of an opportunity to improve yourselves and your organizations. For that, I commend you. And on behalf of the Chief of Naval Operations, I thank you. 
We charge you to think critically, analyze, strategize, and innovate throughout the course of your study. We task you to study history, strategy, policy, ethical leadership, diplomacy, and operational art, all through the lens of national defense. We ask you to examine our great nation's many challenges using that context. Drawing from your many different backgrounds and professional experience, you answered that call. You challenged our faculty and each other and answered those questions by challenging yourselves. As a result, you have emerged as a class of scholars, 253 strong. You have every right to be proud of your accomplishments. Here at the United States Naval War College for nearly 139 years, we have studied the past, delved into doctrine and literature and explored new ideas and expertise to challenge and improve our critical thinking, always focusing on ethical leadership and the very core of our mission, as Admiral Luce aptly described the War College as, quote, a place of original research on all questions relating to war and to statesmanship connected with war or the prevention of war. In our ever-changing world, our senior leaders recognize that education is a crucial strategic enabler to the success of our national defense and interagency team. Your investment in your education directly contributes to our warfighting advantage. In this decade of consequence, the task ahead is to translate theory and doctrine into tangible actions on the operational stage. Your charge now is to use the education you have received to link what you've just learned to how we fight, how you frame problems, how you develop and assess solutions in the future, and how you will build winning teams. This is just one part of the continuum of learning throughout your career. You must invest your energy in continuing, continuing your development for yourself and those you lead. Do not be content to sit comfortably in your area of expertise while uncertainty abounds. Continually seek opportunities to expand your education and share your ideas and solutions with others whose specialties and viewpoints differ. This is how you will develop innovative ideas, which is key to our success as a Navy and a nation. To all the graduates today, you join a distinguished group of alumni whose membership of more than 100,000 spans nearly 139 years since the college's founding and 109 years since the distance education program began. Indeed, as a distance education student, you outnumber residents nearly six to one. I challenge you to continue the growth and success you started at the Naval War College through participation in our alumni communities. Please stay connected with your classmates, joint partners, friends, and other alumni. Once again, graduates, I want to commend you on your momentous achievement. On behalf of the United States Naval War College faculty and staff, we wish you the best in your future endeavors. We hope to see you again soon at one of our many conferences or programs. Again, congratulations, shipmates. By the, by, I guess I could go right now, Stephen, would you like me to go ahead and read the next part? Uh, certainly. Okay. All right. This is the good part, ladies and gentlemen. By the power vested in me by the Congress of the United States, the Chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, I confer upon you the College of Naval Command and Staff Diploma and Joint Professional Military Education Phase One Certification from the United States Naval War College with all the honors, rights, and privileges pertaining thereto.
Honored guests, please join me in saluting the United States Naval War College class of summer quarter 2023, graduates and their families in the chat room. Congratulations, graduates. You all should be rightfully proud. We now have a special guest who would like to acknowledge the graduates. Greetings from the Pentagon. I'm Vice Admiral Jeff Hughes, Deputy Chief of Naval Operations for Warfighting Development, better known as OPNAV N7. This new directorate is designed to deliver strategic and operational advantage to our Navy, the Joint Force, and the interagency, in part by further developing professionals like you as we prepare for and navigate the national security challenges of the 21st century. Congratulations on your graduation. You should all be very proud of everything you've achieved, and I hope you're excited and ready to apply and build upon what you've learned during the course of this program. As a fellow graduate of the Naval War College Distance Education Program, I know how hard it is to complete these academics while working full time and balancing all of the other aspects of your life. Thank you for making this effort. You and our collective team will be better and stronger because of it. Over the past year, you've devoted your time and scholarship to think, study, and reflect on your role as warfighters, military officers, and national security professionals. You serve at a consequential time in our history as we are in great power competition. Your operational expertise, critical thinking skills, creativity, and innovation will be put to the test, and your contribution will be necessary to ensure we retain our warfighting and national security advantages. As this chapter of learning comes to an end, let me leave you with a thought. Oliver Wendell Holmes once said, and I'm paraphrasing, every now and then a person's mind is stretched by new ideas and never shrinks back to its former dimension. I hope the Naval War College has indeed stretched your mind and you continue to take the time to read, study, and build on what you've learned. You are now keepers of the intellectual capital that will enable our ability to meet our no-fail national security mission. Again, congratulations on achieving this important milestone in your professional development. I wish you, your families, and those in your support networks all the best in the future and hope to see you in the fleet. Graduates, in closing, I would like to remind you that you are now the newest members of over 100,000 alumni of the Naval War College. We in the College of Distance Education are delighted and proud that we were able to add 253 more graduates to our alumni database. So I strongly encourage you to take advantage of all the alumni organization offers and lifelong learning opportunities to remain current in Naval and Maritime Affairs and reconnect with your classmates and professors. Please go to the alumni website at myusnwc.com and register today. This concludes today's ceremony. Best wishes for a lovely day and a fantastic celebratory fall weekend ahead. Thank you very much for attending.